I got the brick dust color paint today. Which means I could start painting the so-called mural.
And given that this is the essentially the, the depiction of the leftovers from a removed building, it qualifies as another school of negativity product. Impasto is next. <laughs> That's not much work done. Pretty more, pretty more. For many years, decades, I've wanted to make a mural that's of the traces of an adjoining building to the wall that the mural is on. Standing on top of this step ladder is not really that easy because I have to stay balanced. It's pretty uncomfortable. Usually those traces consist of uh, remnants of paint, traces of where the stairway was, remnants of paint for different colors for different rooms, so they're kind of squares. And uh, not really much else, but enough so that you get the idea, oh, there was a building here, etc. But I wanted to paint this mural on the side of a building somewhere where it would have been impossible for that the building implied by the mural to have been there. I'm going to turn off the ultrasound because I feel sorry for the birds. <laughs> torn the building out, or if there were a cliff that the ground would have collapsed and the building would have collapsed into the ravine, or whatever the cliff would be said to be next to, or if there were a road there, then uh, it would imply that the road had, had uh, been made at the expense of the building. 
So in this case, what I did was I photographed a remnant of a building like that that had only a little bit of space between it and a newer building that had been put up. So I had to take the photograph substantially more short because I couldn't get to it from the side. I had to shoot it from the front. And then I distorted the photograph in uh, In Final Cut Pro, I want Photoshop to uh, to compress it more. The uh, the pencil line, the thin pencil line that goes around, is the outline of the building that this. Traces of the, of the adjoining building were on. So what I, and and that whole wall of the side of that building is brick. But the color of the brick where the adjoining building had been is basically the original brick color, more or less, whereas the color of the Building that the traces of the adjoining, er, the original adjoining building are on, uh, is a different color. I don't remember what. It's the second painting produced under the school of negativity. The first one having been a, a painting, a, a, a dual canvas painting of, uh, of Lake Erie, done in collaboration with my friend Breen Casey. cleaned out that last five gallon bucket. Yeah. 
you know, in order to communicate the original idea of the mural that I had that I've had for the last few decades, I would have been better off if I had just simulated the traces of the previous building because I would have made it look a lot more realistic than what I'm doing now, which is obviously so distorted that it's barely comprehensible. But I'm hoping that it still looks cool anyway. Oh, motherfucker. Luncheon at 4 p.m. Messy though it is, it basically gives the effect that I was looking for. It's after four o'clock. Signing would make it seem like too much of a painting. It's really supposed to be the traces of something else, but impossible traces. Pretty good. I like that. 
painting is not really what I originally had in mind when I thought of this thing 40 or 50 years ago. But it's, uh, it's an adaptation forced into the indoors, which I, I like. I like within the context of what's going to happen with the stripes and everything. It's going to make this whole room extremely lively.